Hi friends, now you will not surprise anyone with a portable speaker. But there was a time when it was almost impossible to buy them. And many enthusiasts, including myself, did such things themselves. But those times are gone and now such speakers are cheap and are sold almost in any store. Despite this, for many people, interest in homemade speakers hasn't disappeared because sometimes at home you can make exclusive speakers that can be better and louder than industrial ones. During this video, we will talk about a self-made speaker which, although to its modest surround parameters, looks cute. I should mention that I plan to make two such speakers, so the filing is designed to connect the second one. Let's start with the box. It's printed on a 3D printer and you will find a link to the model in the description. What animal is this? Most likely it's a bear cup. Not so important, but it's looking nice. The presented unit is active, that is, it has a full-fledged power amplifier and its own power source with a charge system from USB. The dynamic head is taken from another less attractive portable speaker. There are no markings on the head, but it's 3 ohms and the power is within 1 to 3 watts. The lithium-ion battery with capacity 1350 mAh is enough for a long time since the amplifier is very economical. A few words about the amplifier. At first I wanted to put here the TDA2822, a two-channel amplifier operating in the AB class. But this class in a portable system isn't the best solution because of the low efficiency. So in the end, my choice focused on perhaps the best option, a finished board of a dual-channel Class D amplifier built on the basis of the PAM8403 chip. The board provides output power up to 3 watts per channel with power from a 5V source, so I think from 3.7V it can give a couple of watts. The sound quality is acceptable. If home technologies for creating printed circuit boards are no longer satisfying or you need to make a large number of boards, it's much more profitable to order them at the factory. GLC is one of the leading manufacturers of printed circuit boards of any complexity, shape and size. Exquisite quality at minimal cost. Only $2 for 10 boards with dimensions of 10 by 10 cm. Your order will be ready in a day from the moment it's received. A link to the GLC website can be found in the description. The charge system is based off the TP4056 chip. You can't think of a better option. There are everything you need, a charge indication and a micro USB port. The maximum charge current is 1 ampere. Here is used the board without protection circuit, since the battery itself has protection. As I already said, the amplifier is two channel, but one channel is involved yet. The same can be said about the 3.5 mm input connector. All electronics are located in the big head of a bear. Almost everything is fixed with hot glue. The amplifier and charging boards are additionally glued with epoxy resin, because they will noticeably heat up and hot glue can melt. There is no volume control, everything is adjusted directly from the sound source, for example from a smartphone. The speaker sounds something like this. Sounds enough, loud and well. It's quite possible to use as a speaker to a PC. It's difficult to say that this speaker is self-made because it uses ready-made solutions. I specifically emphasize this for someone among the audience who will write about it. What can I say at the end? I have a nice and rather expensive portable speaker, but I fell in love with this thing more. It seems to be alive, though looks like a cyclops. That's all today. Necessary links are in the description. If there are questions related to electronics, you can ask them in our official group. The link is also in the description. Now I say goodbye. Until new meetings. With you was Kaysian TV.